Today we're doing a test. The Hollyland Lark C1 versus the Boyer BY-XM6S4. Brilliant. First things first, both of these microphones are on the cheaper to mid range of the scale, so let's not expect anything too much from them. For in-depth videos on either of these microphones, I would recommend switching off now and going straight to a video that talks about the frequencies, the dropouts and any other variables that can be measured from either of these microphones. I am purely here to tell you how both of these operate from within a car environment. Before we get in the car, let's see the contents of the box for the Boya. We have the transmitters, two of them that both have the dead cat. We have two lav microphones that plug directly into the receivers. And then we have the transmitter, which plugs directly into the bottom of your iPhone. Or if you have a different device, you can get different models. You can get different models of this to suit whichever device you want. It then comes with a pocket for all your equipment to go into. Now let's look at the Hollyland and what comes in the contents of here. We have the charging cables, we have the two dead cats, sound muffs, what you want to call them. And then we have a charging pouch, which opens up to reveal both microphones and then the transmitter, which plugs into the phone. And the Hollyland equipment also comes with a hard pouch now we've had a look at what comes with each package, I can tell you the Hollyland cost me £104 from Amazon and the Boyer cost me £161 from Amazon. They are both apt for generic YouTube usage. For me, if I'm talking about my car and I want to be away from the camera, I could use either of these and they both produce the same quality in my opinion. The main benefit for the Hollyland is the fact that the transmitter has a charging port on the side so you can charge your phone whilst recording content. The benefit for the Boya is the fact that the receiver has a headphone jack so that you can use an uprated lav microphone or you can use the ones provided in a package. Before we get started, let's jump into the GoPro camera so I can get some close-ups of each device whilst plugged into your phone. Essentially, you take the receiver and you plug it in the bottom. It will connect to whichever microphone you want to use. If you don't want to use one, just put it back into the case. In terms of the profile, you can see this one sits quite flat with the phone. Now the same test again with the Boyer, it operates exactly the same. You put the receiver in the bottom of the phone and then you're connected to whichever microphone you wish to use. The profile of this is slightly bigger to compared to the phone. It, the reason I mentioned profile is because you might want to use your phone in operation with a gimbal. First I'll show you the Hollyland, which is the more compact of the two, and you will see profile has no issues in terms of movability. There's no, there's no interference, which is perfect. I use the Boyer, for example. You'll see I have a clearance issue and it scrapes. Without further ado, let's jump into the test. We'll get in the car and I have a few GoPros set up. Sorry about the low lighting conditions and also the narration. This is more a real, this is more a real test case just to see how each microphone handled generic conversation as if I would be talking to the camera in the future. Let's go. I'm going to flip it into the green light with noise cancelling. So let's see if we sound any different for now because we're driving at the same speed. Anyway, let's flip this speaker now back onto the light. Okay, so I've opened the windows in here a bit now. It's really good, but like this one normally I'll try pressing the brakes. Come off the front a bit and it back. But that's because it's quite close to that window. blue mode and I'll drive for a minute or two. Window's still open by the way. Anyway, whilst the window's open, let's change this into green light. So green light is now activated. Um, let's see how we sound now. Window's still open. Yeah. Head back to Now 
I'm going to open my window, only to there because I've got the camera attached to it. Didn't really remember that. Um, not a good idea. We'll go down the uh, faster road first, and when I come back up, I can see if the dead cat actually does anything on top of this microphone. There's a lot of ambient noise around, by the, by the way. So, there's traffic, there's wind. There's a uh, busyness on the roundabout anyway. Well, that's a good bit amount of uh, like wind noise. Yeah, there we go. All right. Well, whilst I'm waiting, let's take the dead cat off. Pop that in my pocket, see if I sound any different without it. It's quite a bit of wind noise here, so it'll be interesting to see if uh, anything's cutting out or, or what happens, to be honest. So, what I'll do now is shut the windows on both sides. And now we can just test the mic microphone as it is on its own. Um, just in a car setting as I go to the other side of Romford. Okay, no dead cat on this, so we can see how it performs. And I'm going to go to that particular road again because that was quite a good test of the capabilities of this microphone. So um, we'll see, we'll see how it is when we get there. Then I can put the lapel microphone on and then head back to the house. Du -du -dun 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 -dun. Okay, as you come around here, there's nice lots of bumps coming up the road. So I'm going to hit them as well because we know exactly which ones they are. On the dual carriageway, you find a bus stops. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then off. And now we're at the top of the roundabout. And we'll see if this causes any distortion like the uh, Hollywood ones, whatever they're called. We'll see if the lapel thing does any different. I don't know, I don't expect it will because the built-in microphone within the receiver of the Boya is probably better than the lapel is on its own in a way. Um, oh, we've got the minivan that's racing. Okay, that's a nice big bump to hit. And then we can hit the other little drain, the manhole covers going up here as well. And we can see if that has any effect on the sounds. If it clips the audio at all, or if it just stays the same as it does, which hopefully, hopefully is the case, because if, if this does work in this way, and then I'll be keeping this microphone completely. There's a lot to ask of the small microphone to actually handle all of these noises, so um, we'll see. Um, anyway, there's quite a lot, there's a lot of road noise, which is good, so at least we can have a good fair comparison of what's going on. So this is a test between Hollyland and Boyer. The exact models I'll just put it on screen because they're both difficult to remember. However, my conclusion is that the Boyer is the better of the two microphones. It has the, it has the added bonus of the external microphone, which I thought I needed given that there's difficulties in trying to record these things properly. But the actual receiver itself, if you just wanted to use that, is better. Um, I have no complaints there. So because I focus on cars on this channel, I would like to focus on the next test. I would like to put the Boyer against the Rode Go or the DJI microphones. So if you would like to see that content, please give this channel a like, a subscribe and drop a comment if there's any other microphones you think I should test against this one in a car environment. Thank you for watching.